this video provides the example for the property of a determinant and I'm going to use this property of a determinant to find certain result and I'm also going to provide example for infinite many solutions at first let's assume I'm having a determinant of this square matrix that is 5 another determinant for this square matrix is 40 and what is the result for the determinant after multiplication of this a and b so this means that at first we are going to multiply this square matrix and after that its result comes in between these brackets and we have to find the determinant of its value or this return value and we, are, we need to find its value so how to do that so we have to use the property of determinant so from the property of determinant when you have the determinant of this a and b which is equals to product of determinant of a multiplying with this product of determinant of b and it's given that its determinant is 5 and its determinants determinant is 40 so determinant of this square matrix is 5 and this determinant of the matrix is 40 and this equals to this 200 so finally if you have these values from the property of determinant its value is product of its two determinant value product of these two uh, determinant value that is 5 into this 40 is 200 so this is how we can actually find determinant of this product of square matrix and now coming to the example of infinite many solutions let's assume I am having this ax is equal to b or we can express this as this augmented matrix let's assume I am having a system of linear equation in form of this ax is going to be equals to b at that case we have 2 1 3 3 0 1 this is 1 2 5 multiplying with this variables which is equals to so this is the direct uh, expression which is coming from three different equations these are all the coefficient of these variables we can write it as 2a plus b plus 3c is going to be equals to 5 3a plus c equals to minus 4 a plus 2b plus 5c equals to this 14 so this is how uh, the actual three equations uh, looks and from this we have uh, expressing this in form of this matrix which is in form of this ax is going to be equals to b and which is actually the non-homogeneous equation because b is not zero if this is zero we say this as the homogeneous equation this is the case of non non-homogeneous equation and let us write this augmented matrix this will be 2 1 3 3 0 1 1 2 5 so now where to find uh, the solution for this augmented matrix so to find its first of all we need to find its rank to find its rank to find this rank of this 
A or this rank of this augmented matrix. At first, we need to convert into equivalent form, or we need to find. We need to make these lower elements three, one, and two as zero, zero, and zero at these positions. And at the second case, number of non-zero rows or columns is the rank of this uh, A matrix or this rank of this augmented matrix. So first case we need to make these three elements, positional elements as zero. So for that we need to use a elementary transformation. For both R2 and R3. So for R2 this is going to convert into 2 times the R2 minus 3 times the R1 and this row 3 converts to 2 times the R3 minus this R1. So 1 multiplying with 2 minus 2 is 0 so makes 3 and so these two are the operations which we are applying to this this is row 2 this is row 3 and after applying it this augmented matrix converts into some another form that is 2 1 3 0 minus 3 minus 7 0 3 7 5 minus 23 and 23 so since we have this and remaining one element is not 0 so let's make this element as 0 so you can observe these two are related because if you make this element so we need to make sure that these two elements must remain zero. So we have to change this row three because it is going to change. So row three must change to change this element, and we must take care about these zeros. So if you subtract or if you add zero with this zero, first of all to make this as zero we need to add these two elements so we also need to check whether this is not going to change or not so if you make if you add these two elements of course this makes zero and also it is not affecting this transformation so these two also remains zero so because of that this row 3 is going to be row 3 plus this row 2 so two conditions we need to make sure this must be 0 and these two must not change converts into some other value because all it is already in 0 so when you add this when you use this transformation then this augmented matrix is going to be equals to so row 1 is not going to change and only row, row 3 changes and you can observe here we have two non-zero rows this row 3 that is 0 0 0 and 0 is entirely all its elements are 0 so because of that we this row becomes zero and the number of non-zero rows are two 
so number of non zero rows are 2 so rank of this augmented matrix is 2 because it is the number of non zero rows and when it comes to the matrix that is a it is having 2 1 3 0 minus 3 minus 7 0 0 and 0 and you can observe here we have we only have two non-zero rows for this square matrix so the rank of this square matrix is uh, 2 because number of non-zero rows are 2 this is the zero rows and finally this rank and this rank are same that is rank of A equals to this rank of and not only that we can also observe that this is less than number of unknown variables that is 3 and which is less than a value the higher or the full rank matrix which is this rank is less than the rank of full rank full rank matrix and so this is the condition for the infinite many solutions and this is the condition for consistent and if this is not equals this comes under uh, the non -solution, no solution but that's not the case we have this as infinite solution and let us have this matrix that is augmented matrix that is 2 1 3 5 3 0 1 minus 4 and we can also observe there is a relation between these three rows let's assume this row as row 1 row 2 and this as row 3 and you can observe this row 3 is 2 times the row 1 so 4 minus 3 is 1 so 2 times the R1 minus this row 2 uh, if you look at this uh, this column if you make this element as 4 and subtract that from this 3 we look at a value 1 and if this happens we also need to check for all these columns whether this condition is satisfying or not so after multiplying so this condition is right here if you are multiplying 2 with this row 1 and after subtracting we get so we are actually getting that and same thing happens to all these columns since we have this relationship so the rank will be less than so rank of this is to be is going to be less than a number of unknown variables and we can also check that this rank of A equals to this rank of B because uh, all this one of the row is going to be zero because of this condition and this is nothing but or uh, these three columns is for the matrix A so this is valid for this matrix A and also valid for this augmented matrix so definitely for both this uh, square matrix and this augmented matrix will have a rank less than uh, the unknown variables so we can say that this is this belongs to the infinite many solutions